Hey guys, let's get more news about Lakers, but first, don't forget to subscribe and leave your like. LeBron James' honest statement on rematch versus Denver Nuggets. The Los Angeles Lakers defeated the New Orleans Pelicans on Tuesday night to clinch the seventh seed in the West and a date with the defending champion Denver Nuggets. This opening round series is a rematch of last year's Western Conference Finals, which the Nuggets swept. When asked on the TNT broadcast about this upcoming matchup with the Nuggets, Lakers star LeBron James said, It's the defending champions. We understand how difficult of a matchup it's been versus them. They're gonna make it tough on us, we're gonna try to make it tough on them. So we're gonna get an opportunity to kind of rest tonight, maybe rest tomorrow a little bit, and then get back into the books and get ready for this first round series that's gonna be extremely tough on us. The Nuggets have dominated the Lakers in recent matchups, including last year's Western Conference Final Series. While Denver has regularly found a way to defeat the Lakers, their matchups are almost always close, with the Nuggets executing better down the stretch to pull out victories. The Lakers have their work cut out for them, but have to feel good about taking care of business in their first playing game to not have to face elimination in a second playing game. This should be a very fun Western Conference battle. Gabe Vincent finding his rhythm as Lakers enter playoffs. As Gabe Vincent checked in at the start of the second quarter for his first playing stint of the Lakers' 110-106 play-in game victory over the New Orleans Pelicans, he was about to provide a glimpse of what they've missed from him this season. Less than one minute into the second, Vincent provided what Austin Reeves called one of the best plays of the game. Vincent dove on the court to steal a bad pass by the Pelicans' Larry Nance Jr. before kicking the ball out to Torian Prince to ignite the Lakers' attack in transition. Every possession, he's out there competing on defense, Reeves said. Just that heart that he plays with. But what surrounded that play provided encouragement that Vincent is starting to find his offensive rhythm after missing most of the season because of left knee ailments. Less than 40 seconds into the third, Vincent made a corner three-pointer off an assist from LeBron James to cut the Pelicans' lead to 36-29. Three minutes later, Vincent made his second three-pointer of the game, which gave the Lakers a 41-38 lead during a quarter in which they outscored the Pelicans 34-16. Vincent's nine-minute stint in the second gave the Lakers the boost they needed, with the veteran guard being a plus-12 in the quarter. Just his toughness, his grit, his ability to make shots, Coach Darvinham said. And like I said, that will come. As his legs get stronger and stronger underneath him, his shot-making will increase as well. He has this quiet toughness about himself. Whatever you need him to do, he's gonna do it. He's gonna make sure he executes it and starts with defense with him. The defense, diving on the floor, everything, he's a hell of a competitor. Vincent finished with nine points and four rebounds in 18 minutes. His two-for-four shooting from three-point range was the first time he made multiple three-pointers in a game this season. He played just seven regular season games before Tuesday's play-in game after having left knee surgery on December 27, missing time before that with swelling, before returning on March 31. Each game I feel better, naturally, Vincent said. There's no replacing reps, and I think that's something I miss most of this year, whether it's reps in practice or just getting shots up or a rhythm type thing. But each game I feel better naturally and always better when you get a win. Vincent was also disruptive defensively while taking on bigger defensive challenges, guarding Zion Williamson and Brandon Ingram for stretches after mostly defending C.J. McCollum. He's a ball hawk, all-star big man Anthony Davis said. And he's a very high IQ player. Just a great overall talent. High IQ player. When he's like that on the defensive end, we're just a tougher team to beat. Magic Johnson, NBA World Go Crazy for Lakers vs. Nuggets Playoffs Rematch LeBron James continues to be the king of the play-in tournament. In the third play-in tournament appearance of his career, James has once again led the Lakers to a playoff berth, this time taking care of the New Orleans Pelicans, 110-106.
this victory sets up a rematch of the 2023 Western Conference Finals, as the Lakers are slated to take on the reigning champion Denver Nuggets in the first round of this year's playoff festivities. The first round of the playoffs in the Western Conference is the gift that keeps on giving. As if fans won't be spoiled already with the Los Angeles Clippers vs. Dallas Mavericks and Minnesota Timberwolves vs. Phoenix Suns first-round matchups, the Lakers' quest to dethrone the Nuggets will make for entertaining television, especially after the bad blood these two teams have developed following their playoff tussle in 2023. Now, fans are losing their minds in excitement on social media, with Magic Johnson echoing the sentiment of plenty of fans around the world regarding the Lakers' impending matchup against the Nuggets. NBA fans all over the world, this is what we all wanted. The world champion Denver Nuggets versus my Los Angeles Lakers, get ready, because this will be must-see TV. Johnson wrote on his official Twitter, X, account. Skip Bayless then couldn't pass up on the opportunity to troll the Lakers, a notorious harsh critic of LeBron James, Bayless put the pressure on their shoulders as they have a chance to defeat the Nuggets while not having endured yet the wear and tear of multiple difficult postseason battles. The Lakers are better than the Nuggets. Now they have an early round opportunity to play better than the Nuggets, before LeBron runs out of gas, Bayless wrote. Following the Nuggets' run to the championship, head coach Michael Malone couldn't seem to keep the Lakers' name off his mouth. This irked LeBron James and Anthony Davis, with the latter revealing his desire for a playoff rematch against the Nuggets prior to the start of the 2023-24 season. Now, Davis has gotten his wish. At the very least, Lakers fans have immense confidence that they can be a threat to the Nuggets. Sure, they might have been swept in last year's conference finals, but most of those games were close until the end. And with the most experienced playoff performer in league history in LeBron James still around to lead the way, no one should ever count out the purple and gold until their playoff opposition gets four wins in a series. Lakers have a chance, Nuggets haven't been as dominant this year, one fan wrote. Added another, Lakers are not a buy for the Nuggets LMAO PPL, forget how competitive every game was. The Nuggets remain the overwhelming favorite to take the series. Denver has certainly earned that level of respect. But games are played on the court, not on paper. Only time will tell if the Lakers can muster the performances needed to dethrone the presumptive favorite to win it all. Prior to the Lakers' 110-106 play-in win over the Pelicans, there was talk that LeBron James and company should simply punt on that game and focus on winning the second play-in game so they could face the Oklahoma City Thunder in the first round instead of the Denver Nuggets. This was an enticing option to some because the Lakers have shown that they might be a bad matchup for the Thunder. Oklahoma City's biggest weakness is their inability to clean up on the glass, and the Lakers always sense blood on the backboards whenever they're facing OKC. The Lakers won the season series against the Thunder, 3-1, and their collective playoff experience may have presented some difficulties for a young squad. Nonetheless, throwing the 7-8 matchup against the Pelicans was a preposterous notion to begin with, the Sacramento Kings and Golden State Warriors went a combined 7-1 against the Lakers this season, so putting themselves in a spot to lose out on the playoffs entirely against two teams that know how to beat them would have been catastrophic. Their reward for it may be a matchup against the Nuggets, that is as difficult of a first-round matchup as it gets. But the Lakers, or any other team for that matter, know better than to incur the wrath of the basketball gods. It'll now be interesting to see if LeBron James has one more deep playoff run in him. And you, fan, what do you think of the situation of Magic Johnson? Leave your opinion in the comments.